in the following video lecture we're going to discuss uh, what is meant by the term eutrophication and uh, eutrophication is a term uh, you've probably not heard of that term that's not frequently used but what you have probably seen is this thing over here you must have seen um, ponds or rivers or uh, some stagnant uh, water bodies that are covered by this green algae and this green algae uh, causes the death of uh, marine plants and uh, animals uh, the marine animals like fishes etc so you would see lots of dead fishes etc so so this entire process uh, is uh, called eutrophication and i'm going to discuss uh, the causes of eutrophication and the results and the effects that eutrophication causes to the environment in the following lecture. So the leading cause of eutrophication is uh, eutrophication is mainly caused by the overuse of fertilizers. So these fertilizers are the main culprits that farmers use uh, to improve crop yield because they provide necessary ingredients for crop, uh, crop growth and uh, the necessary ingredients that crops need are nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. So NPK fertilizers are the main cul culprits which cause eutrophication. Um, the reason why these fertilizers are dangerous is that um, these elements N, P and K are delivered to plants in the form of salts. So most of the fertilizers uh, are salts that contain, that contain, so they're basically, so most fertilizers are salts containing nitrates uh, because nitrates uh, have nitrogen in them uh, the fertilizers that have phosphates in them phosphate uh, salts have PO4 3 minus or potassium ions in them so any salt that has nitrates phosphates or potassium ions another source of nitrate is salts that have ammonium in them and it's 4 plus the other reason is uh, that these salts they need to be soluble so all these salts they should be very very soluble because plants absorb uh, uh, water and if you want to uh, deliver n p or k elements to plants then you, those salts must be able to dissolve in water so that plants can absorb them through water so these salts are very very soluble now since fertilizers are very soluble what happens is that when you uh, provide uh, when you do irrigation or when it rains not all of the fertilizer is actually being absorbed by plants what happens is that a lot of water actually runs off the field and it ends up in in rivers and lakes so fertilizers because they're very soluble they get get washed away into rivers and lakes by rain and ir irrigation so a very small quantity is actually absorbed by plants a lot of it actually ends up in rivers and lakes and other water bodies like these and this is where uh, the uh, the bad effects of these fertilizers occur because fertilizers are necessary ingredients for plant growth but when you have a river or a lake uh, the most uh, uh, easily available uh, uh, type of plant that actually grows very well in rivers and lakes is algae so these fertilizers they increase the growth of algae and algae growth multiplies and a lot of algae is produced so whenever uh, a water body has a lot of fertilizer in it then algae growth is promoted and you would start seeing this green substance forming on the top layer of the of the river because a lot of algae would reproduce and it would multiply and there would be a lot of abundant algae in water bodies that have a lot of fertilizers in them. Now this top green algae layer uh, prevents uh, sunlight from reaching the water. So the first thing it does is it blocks sunlight and sunlight is necessary for marine plants. So marine plants would start to die. So marine plants So plants that uh, live inside the water bodies, marine plants would start dying. And these marine plants are very necessary because they produce oxygen. And this oxygen is, uh, is the oxygen that usually gets dissolved in the water and marine fish plants and marine animals and fishes are able to breathe inside water. Uh, because of this oxygen so these marine plants are very necessary uh, that they are present in but once algae grows and algae grows very very frequently so it ends up using all the 
all the uh, minerals in the water so this algae blocks it it uh, because it lives on the top surface of the water its uh, sunlight would not be able to reach the bottom surface and marine plants at the bottom would start dying rapidly and the other thing is that the algae has a very very short lifespan so it has a short lifespan and what that short lifespan would do is that uh, it's going to this algae would multiply and it would die very quickly as well so the cycle is is very short so a lot of algae would be produced and a lot of dead organic material would be present so bacterial growth would be pr promoted so bacteria starts to grow bacteria starts to grow on the on the dead algae by feeding on the dead algae when you watch this both of these process the death of marine plants and the short lifespan of the algae produces a lot of dead organic material and bacteria starts to grow so the bacteria life uh, uh, there's a lot of bacteria in this water because it's feeding on dead algae and both of these processes they consume a lot of oxygen because uh, the marine plants would not be able to produce oxygen photosynthesis would stop and bacteria would start consuming all the oxygen so overall the oxygen content of the lake or river or, or the water body would decrease so oxygen gets used up and it gets used up and once oxygen is used up this would start causing the death of marine uh, life marine fishes etc that depend on oxygen so marine life or uh, marine animals would start dying so the final cause is that marine animals mostly fishes they start to die so i'm going to repeat the entire process of eutrophication once more and sum it up so the first thing was that uh, the eutrophication is caused by fertilizers fertilizers are salts and they are very soluble salts because plants absorb these salts through water fertilizers uh, provide uh, plants with three elements nitrogen phosphorus and potassium in the form of salts that contain nitrates or phosphates or potassiums or uh, ammonium uh, so they are ammonium salts etc so they are salts that contain uh, any of the four uh, or four ions and since these fertilizers are very very soluble so when it rains they get washed away into rivers and lakes by rain and irrigation so a lot of fertilizer actually gets uh, gets mixed or dissolved in the water bodies uh, like the one shown over here and what this fertilizer fertilizer does is that it promotes algae growth and algae growth multiplies very very rapidly and you would start seeing uh, you would start seeing this green substance forming on the top layer of the water body and this green substance would eventually block the sunlight and marine plants would start dying so the plants marine plants that were present inside the water that were uh, doing photosynthesis and that were producing oxygen they would not be able to produce oxygen and the second thing is that algae has a very short lifespan so bacteria starts to grow on the dead algae because the dead algae dead organic matter a lot of bacteria would feed on that and bacterial growth would multiply and both of these causes um, cause the uh, they decrease the content the oxygen content it gets used up and once oxygen decreases then marine plants and anim marine animals especially fishes etc they would start dying so this is the entire process of eutrophication and you get a lot of questions like this uh, in your CIE exams that uh, and you have to uh, answer the question according to the following steps you have to describe all the steps in the exact order in your question in your answer